Okay, today we're going to make a Lego lightsaber. So let's try this out. So I've already created a project. I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, my file and then I'm going to right click click on new component. This is typically how I do all of my projects. Start out with saving it, new component, and then create your component. Even though this is probably going to be, um, it might be multiple um, pieces um, or components, but um, I've got the Lego lightsaber here in front of me. I'm going to just do some general dimensioning and then and then work on some more specifics. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the overall uh, length of the lightsaber. And I'm getting 0 0.621 inches. 0 0.621. So I'm going to create just a basic rectangle. Um, dimension this is 0 0.621. <coughs> and then I'm going to essentially just create um, a profile and then from this profile I'm going to revolve it. So the diameter is 0.124 um, for the middle part of kind of the shaft here. So I'm going to do um, this dimension is 0.124 divided by 2. That's kind of the main section like the handle of the lightsaber and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in rectangles um, so starting here this one's a little bit bigger and then it goes a little bit bigger after that and then it has a space and it has like a couple of these little details and then toward the bottom it's got a section that's like this so I'm just going to dimension all of those things. So let's start with this one right here. So measuring the diameter of that, I get 0 0.193. 0 0.193, so 0 0.193 divided by 2. And then from here to here, is 0 0.233, so 0 0.233 divided by 2, and then these little guys are the same, and they are 0 0.165. Do this dimension the same. That. I'm going to do the heights. So I'm going to do a step dimension on this. So I use my step tool or feature on my dial caliper. And that's 0 0.070. And then this one, again, I don't divide by two on these because these are actual sizes now. This is 0 0.067. And then I'm going to move these kind of downward here. Out of the way. And then let's dimension this gap. It's a really small gap here. 0 0.032. And then we're going to measure each one of these little ridges. 0 0.026. We'll make this one the exact same and then gap between them and 
and then this section down here. So all that up top is dimension now. This one is 0.122 and the diameter. Point one nine two. And this way to divide by two to get a radius. <clears throat> it's probably actually the same as this, so I'm going to leave it the same as that. So it's probably point one nine three divided by two. Let's check. Yep. So we'll make those the same. Um, that looks pretty good. Let's finish the sketch. Let's do a revolve. And we're going to revolve around this axis and click OK. And there we have our lightsaber piece. Now there's a couple little details here that, um, that we need to add in. Um, at the base here. So to me it looks like it's a little bit of a chamfer, maybe not, but or a little bit of kind of a roundedness to this. So I'm going to put a little fillet on this thing. Um, maybe like that. And we need a hole in the top and then a hole in the bottom as well. So we'll add those in here in just a bit. Um, but the last thing we want to put is some of this, there's like a little detail on this piece. Um, I'm trying to think what the easiest way to be, would be to, to model this. I have an idea. Um, Trying to see if that's rounded at all. It's so small, it's really hard to tell. I think we could probably just make that piece and then bring it out. Um, I think is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create a new sketch and I'm going to put it on. Um, let's put it on this face, and then. We're going to put this as a rectangle. It kind of goes like this. And let's dimension that rectangle. So the width of this little section is 0 0.053. And height. zero nine three and then from here to here zero six six and then we want to align it along the center line here. So I'm going to do a line, hit X for construction, draw a midpoint, and then I'm going to make this symmetrical about that. And then I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to finish that sketch, and now I'm going to extrude this block out this way. And it's saying to cut, but I don't want to cut that. Um, Going to measure across the diameter of that. 0.229. So 0.229 divided by 2. And then I want to join. And say OK. And then I'm going to do a chamfer on this.
I don't think it's quite a 45. Let's do distance and angle. So let's, that looks pretty good. 60 degree angle. It's not the greatest transition that I want there. I want it more um, into the piece. But I don't think I'm going <clears> to <throat> have a choice. Uh, I guess I could do something else. Yeah, let's just do something else. That's okay. So we're not going to chain for this. We're going to leave this like this. We're going to revolve cut <clears throat> what I want to do here. So I'm going to take this now and do another sketch on this plane. And now I can basically project some geometry here. So let's project this geometry and this geometry. And then let's create a line that goes from here to here. And then let's dimension that angle to be a 30 degree angle. Finish sketch. And then let's revolve cut. So we'll revolve this pro cut that profile. Let's go back into our sketch. Let's draw these lines. The axis is this one, and we want to cut, and say OK. Oh yeah, we got to go out further <clears throat> on this. So let's go back to our sketch, and let's kind of extend this. And then let's make some collinear and then we'll make this one vertical and that's fine and we don't have to dimension this right there we'll just keep it further out and that should do it and then we're going to add this as our profile as well and that should cut that away so there we go now we need to circle pattern this section. So I'm going to do a circle pattern. I want to circle pattern this instead of face. I want to do body feature. I'm going to circle pattern this feature about this axis. And I want four of them. I hit OK. And then I'm going to move that in front of this guy. So it cuts that away. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that fillet right now. That's a little better. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put two holes in it. Uh, one on the top and one on the bottom hole feature to a hole snap it to the center pick my diameter diameter is going to be 0.121 and then the depth is 0.108 